I have a Google Sheet which needs to be updated on a daily basis with new daily data. The first thing I have to do with that sheet is to scroll to the bottom of the sheet and select the cell to enter the daily data. It would be a lot easier if the sheet opened and automatically selected the cell to enter the data into. This video will show you how to set up a simple Google Sheet macro that will do this for you. First of all, let's create a new Google Sheet and give it a name. I've copied and pasted this dummy data from another sheet. Ideally, I would like the sheet to open so that I can enter the next day's temperature into column B easily and quickly. Before we can automate this, we need to know how to do this manually. If you select cell A1, to go to the bottom of the data in column A, you then need to type Control plus down arrow. This will select the cell at the bottom of the data in column A. There must not be any gaps in column A. If there is a blank cell in the middle, then Control plus down arrow will simply move to the cell above the gap. This also works with the other arrow keys. To move to the top of column A, type Control plus up arrow. To move to the cell at the far right of the row, type Control plus right arrow. Cell B1 is now selected, so to select the bottom of the data in column B, type Control plus down arrow. It's now a simple matter of hitting the down arrow once to move the selected cell down one and then you're ready to enter the next day's temperature. So to summarise that, to enter the next day's temperature you need to select cell B1, then type Control plus down arrow, then type down arrow. Now that we know how to do this manually, we now just need to get this into a macro. The macro will then do this whenever the macro is triggered. Click Extensions, then click Macros, then click Record Macro. You'll see a window opening at the bottom of the screen and this shows that the macro is being recorded. You should find that it is set to Use Absolute References. If for some reason it isn't, then click on Absolute References. This means that when you click on a cell, the macro will record the specific cell that you select. So when I click on cell B1, the macro has recorded that I have clicked on cell B1. I now type Control plus down arrow, and the macro records that I've typed this. The final thing I want the macro to do is to move one cell down, so that the macro selects the first empty cell, so that I can immediately type the temperature for the next day. I will be entering data on a daily basis. So today it is cell B16, Tomorrow it will be B17 and the day after B18. So I can't use the absolute reference because the absolute reference is going to change on a daily basis. I need to change to use relative references. This selects the cell a specific distance and direction from whatever is the currently selected cell. In this case I always want to move one cell down from the currently selected cell. To make sure that the sheet window is the active window, click the currently selected cell. Now type the down arrow key. This will move to the cell below the currently selected cell. So now the correct cell is selected for the next day's temperature. The macro is complete. So I can now click on save. Give the macro a meaningful name so that when you look at this sheet in a year's time, you will know what the macro does. Let's review the macro that has been written. You don't need to understand the code, but it can be useful to take a quick look at it. Click Extension, then click Apps Script. In this line of code you will see B1, so obviously this is the line of code that selects cell B1. The next line of code is the Control plus down arrow, which selects the cell at the bottom of the data in column B. The final line of code is the down arrow, which uses relative references, and this moves the selected cell one cell lower. So this is what the 1, 0 does. The 0 means do not move the selected cell left or right. So now that we've got this simple macro, we just need to run it. The first time you run a macro on a sheet, you will be asked to authorise it and grant some permissions. Select the appropriate account, check you are happy with the permissions that you are giving the macro, and then, if you're happy, click Allow. The selected cell moves to B2, then to the empty cell at the bottom of the column of temperature data. 
That's great, the macro moves the selected cell to the next cell where you need to enter data. But unfortunately you need to manually run this macro. What I really want is to get this macro to run automatically every time I open the sheet. Click on the alarm clock symbol which allows you to set triggers that will run this macro. Click on create a new trigger. You want to create a trigger to run this macro that we called bottom row and we want it to run whenever we open the sheet. So all the defaults are correct. All you need to do is click save. So let's close this sheet. This also closes the macro window on the right of the screen. Now let's open the sheet again by clicking the file name in Google Drive. The file opens and when you open a sheet cell A1 is always selected. However, if you wait a few seconds to allow the macro to run, you can see that the selected cell jumps to B1 and then to the first empty cell at the bottom of column B. So I've achieved my aim. When I open the sheet, the selected cell is the next cell where I want to enter data. So I can now immediately enter the temperature for the 15th of August. If you reload or refresh this page, this is the equivalent of opening the sheet again. So as you can see, the selected cell is now the temperature for the 16th of August. So I enter the temperature, reload or open the sheet again. And the selected cell is now the temperature for the 17th of August. This demonstrates that we've achieved the objective. We open this sheet and the selected cell is the next cell where you need to enter data. I hope this helps you write a similar macro for your own Google Sheet. Thanks.